Win-Win and her casual stroll to the top. Part 1. The God Who Gardens What good story wouldn't have a protagonist to juxtapose the antagonist? A force to resolve the conflict. It's easy for us to get caught up in the machinations of Moloch. One of the most powerful aspects of Moloch is how he slowly chips away at our autonomy over an extended period of time. The capitalist incentive system put a stake in the ground when Adam Smith published A Wealth of Nations in 1776, the year the United States began its Revolutionary War. That's almost 250 years ago, which means Moloch can operate within generational, multi-century timelines. With this patience, he makes us complacent to the systems in place, rather than question and change their design. Individually, we are too weak to fight against these macro powers, which make it the path of least resistance. Compete. Survival of the fittest. Capture profits. These have become some of our primal values. But we have survived many interactions with Moloch, so what is it that makes humans so resilient? How did we evolve to produce such technological and scientific breakthroughs that we have yet to see anywhere else in the universe? Take a moment. Consider this question with me. And I mean it. Actually, take a moment to answer it for yourself. There is no one answer. You can take this question from any number of lenses based on your expertise and experience. But here is the answer I find most interesting to me. To me, what makes humans so unique is our ability to cooperate. Think about the greatest achievements of mankind. Again, take an actual moment to consider the question, because everyone might have a different opinion or perspective on our collective achievements. Okay, hopefully you have something in mind. Once you do, tell me, if the achievement you chose, was it done so alone? I can almost guarantee it was not, because the greatest of achievements require cooperation at scale, whether that's a family, a community, a company, a state, a country, or a world. 